Chinese medicine to me is one of the most incredible sciences that I've ever seen on the face of the planet. These ancient physicians were ones that, just like Einstein, tried to find a unified field theory, but not in relation to physics and just the laws of nature, but also how the laws of nature affected human beings in terms of illness, from the most macro forces in the sky to a plant, a color on a person's face, where a rash shows up, and all of that becomes key diagnostic information. So in this video, I want to talk a little bit about why I think Chinese medicine will be the saving grace of modern medicine and why it has this unbelievable simplicity and complexity to address disease on every level that you won't find from your conventional doctor. I'm Alex Hine, current doctoral student in traditional or classical Chinese medicine, also author of the wellness book, Master the Day. Now look, I've also included a free little PDF download in the description there on how to add 10 years to your life with traditional Chinese medicine. So a couple key practices you can do on a daily basis. So check that out in the description box there below. It's the very first link. Now to me, the big problem with conventional medicine is let's say you have insomnia. You go to your doctor and he or she gives you something to help you sleep. But there's no consideration whether you are recently divorced and you're heartbroken. There's no consideration over whether you have pain. There's no consideration over whether you have digestive problems that are keeping you up all night because you're indigested and you're getting this fire coming up from your chest from acid reflux. There's no conception of whether or not you have anxiety or you're depressed. Most physicians will still give you something to just help you sleep like a log, to just knock you out, in the most generic way possible. And yet, through that drug that's given, to me it doesn't even matter if it's a plant, the point is that it doesn't deal with anything related to the root cause. The person taking the Ambien still is divorced and heartbroken. The person with digestive problems still has acid reflux. The person who has anxiety or depression still has anxiety or depression. And so we go through this whole rigmarole where we're given these things over and over and we never once touch anything close to the root of the issue. And to me, the reason why this is such a deep flaw with conventional medicine is that conventional medicine has no health philosophy. There is no concept of what it means to be healthy and the practices to be healthy. You ask your doctor, what does healthy mean? And she'll probably say, no, no illness, no disease. How do you get healthy? Work out, eat right, follow the USDA food pyramid, Maybe you meditate or something. It's very generic, not at all customized advice, which shows nothing at all about what's going on with the person. Specifically, what's going on? What's the pattern out of balance? And what is the unique pattern to them that needs to be rebalanced? And when you compare that to the ancient Chinese physicians, they took every little thing from how the season this year, let's say we have a long summer, Literally, the long summer is going to affect what's called the chi, or the, you can call it the energy if you want, of nature, which is then going to affect the expression of certain diseases and illnesses in a different way than any other year before. That long summer will affect the next season. It will affect the expression of colds and flus and other illnesses in the human body, which will then even have to get treated differently with different herbal formulas, different, there's a different progression of pathology, more serious, less serious, more lung, more large intestine affected. And it's amazing the level of sophistication where from everything from the patient's thoughts, the gender, the age, the, the location in which they live, the environment, like the actual weather patterns, how that relates to their illness, to their daily life, colors in their eyes, brittleness in their nails, dryness in their skin, the way they lean in a little bit too much when they're explaining what's going on, or the way they are back and a little bit covered up and sedate when they're explaining what's going on with their health. All of this is key diagnostic information in Chinese medicine. And this is why it's so incredible, because like Einstein with his obsession to figure out the force that unifies the entire universe, Einstein said that the more he learns about physics, the more he's interested in metaphysics. Because in his understanding, there was no chance that this was just chance. These universal forces are not only functioning at such a large level in terms of like the force of gravity in the universe and the cosmos, but also 
coming back to human nature and how consistent these patterns are, these laws of nature. They're not just these accidental forces like he was saying. And so these Chinese physicians noted what do these macro forces all the way to the most micro, how do they relate to the patient's health and the patient's wellness? And what does everything reflect about that person's, the energy dynamic in the body? Whether they lean too forward, they lean far back, the voice is loud and shouting, or the voice is kind of quiet and sedate and they can't really like muster that strong voice. All of these show exactly where a patient is on a spectrum in the most genius way that brings together every piece of data, every speck on a patient's body where there's moles, where the rashes show up, where psoriasis shows up, if the asthma is worse on the inhale or the exhale, all of these help trace back that paper trail to figure out what is going on. So in my mind, there is no medicine that has ever been as customized and its understanding is such a high level as Chinese medicine, where all of this information is so key and critical, where a normal physician would not really care in relation to your gender for some issues, in relation to your age for some issues, your diet, where you live, are you in a moist or a dry environment, or even your emotional states. Many physicians now, they don't ask those questions because apparently it's not important to them. But Chinese medicine, every little thing is a little breadcrumb that traces back to the root of what's this bigger imbalance going on in a person. So that is my impassioned rant for today. I hope, you, I hope it helps you understand a bit more about why Chinese medicine is so incredible in the hands of someone that knows what they're doing and how it can help you understand a patient and understand maybe your own self and self-healing. How everything is not coincidental, that it's all related to your, the health and the pathology and the balance, the imbalance in the person. So before you go, I want you to leave a comment there below. Let me know for you, what has been your most common frustration with seeing a physician? Doesn't matter, East versus West. What has been your worst experience and what's been your biggest frustration? Comment there below. And don't forget, you can check out my last two related videos right there and right there.